Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to the East Link Events Center in Clarenville, Newfoundland. It's time for game number two of the Herder Memorial Championship Final in the Avalon East Senior Hockey League. The Southern Shore Breakers won the first game on home ice last night. They have a one game to none lead in the series, and they're in town tonight to take on the Clarenville Ford Caribous. My name is Matthew Little. Nathan Edwards is behind the camera as we get set for this game number two. As you can see, the red carpet is rolled out to center ice. The building is packed and it is electric in here as the hometown Caribous make their way out onto the ice. Now to the starting lineup, Pender and Dyke on defense. Delaney up front. Joined by Dunahy and Sparks making his first appearance in the final. And A.J. Whippen in goal once again. It'll be the same goaltending matchup as last night in game number one. A.J. Whippen for Clarenville and Mark Yetman for Southern Shore. And everybody will come out onto the blue lines as we're going to have a jersey retirement ceremony before we drop the puck here in game number two. We handed out hardware, the awards around the Avalon East Senior Hockey League before game one yesterday. Congratulations once again to all the award winners. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ty Cole, the center ice for a very special presentation. Ty Cole coming out to center ice for the jersey presentation. A congratulations to both teams being here in the 87th edition of the Herder Final. A big thank you to all the fans for sticking with things and of course to Clarenville Ford. And Bob Bags making his way out onto the ice. Wife, daughter, and son all accompanying Mr. Bags out to center ice. Terrific skating and hard shot, he dominated 
They ran down the impressive career of Bob Baggs. Played Junior B and Junior A in Nova Scotia before coming back to Newfoundland. Played senior hockey from a very young age as well, and there it is, Bob Baggs, defenseman number four that will go to the rafters here in Clarenville. And the players will hoist that up. Everybody will pose for a photo. Congratulations to Bob Beggs one more time. What an honor to have your name and number hanging amongst the rafters. And Bob will stay on the ice to do a ceremonial face-off as well. Now Keith Delaney and Jeremy Nicholas, the captains, will come to center ice for the ceremonial puck drop. And now we will pause for O Canada, and then it will be time to drop the puck on game number two of this Herder final here from East Link Events Center in Clarenville. It's just about time for game number two of this Herder Finals. Southern Shore took the first game 4-3 yesterday in a great opener back at the Ken Williams Southern Shore Arena. Now we just need to get the red carpet off the ice and we'll be set to go for this one. Mostly the same lineups between the two teams. Chris Sparks comes in for the Clarenville Ford Caribous. He didn't play in game number one. He's in tonight. Mason Reed also comes back into the lineup after missing game one of the series. Tyler Whittle and Andrew Mercer were in last night. They are not in tonight for the Caribous.
virtually identical roster for the Southern Shore Breakers. Just checking my notes. I don't think there's any changes at all from game number one. Nope. Identical lineup, top to bottom, for Southern Shore. Center ice. The captains will do it for real this time. Nicholas versus Delaney. And we're underway from Clarenville. Game number two of this Herder final. Thanks for being with us on AOTV. Southern Shore from just inside their blue line. Send it cross ice. Pender over reverse directions. And Sparks puts it in deep. Cadigan goes back to get it behind his net. Bothered by Delaney. He'll get it up the wall. Donahue looking to get control along with Dyke. But it's poked out by the breakers. Pender will recollect just inside his own blue line for Clarenville and send it cross ice. Back into the middle they find Sparks. Sparks will bank it off the wall, collides with Nicholas and Southern Shore a chance to come back. Brandon Pye carries in, takes a good shove from Pender as the puck goes to the back wall. Pye will dig it out, trying to get in front for a shot. That will go off stick, up and out of play. And we got our first play stoppage. Just over 40 seconds into period number one. No score between the two teams here in Clarenville. Reed versus Chaff in the face-off circle. Ends up in the stick of Hedges. He'll play it all the way out for Clarenville. Shot back in by Southern Shore. Whiffen will come out and stop it in behind the net as the goaltender gets his first touch. We'll talk a little bit more about A.J. Whiffen on our next play stoppage. Hedges behind the net, moves it around to the far side of the ice. Now up ahead, they find Earl. Earl on the rush, and the fans get loud as the shot is in on Yetman. Trying to follow up on the rebound, but it's chipped away. Clarenville still on the attack here, trying to work the cycle. Taken away by Southern Shore, and the breakers come out. Spurl tries to take a shot that's blocked off a skate. All the way back to the line, Houlihan keeps it in, but Clarenville has possession. They'll play it out. Reed, turning at his own blue line. Now gives it to Earl. Earl will get to center and fire in. They're going to make a line change. Yetman will give it to his D. Cadigan, round behind the net to the other side. Now moved up ahead. Into the middle of the ice, they find Dalton on the rush. Oates had to stop to stay on side. Dalton tried to send the puck where Oates would be, but Oates, of course, had lost that momentum because he had to stop up at the blue line. And we get another play stoppage here in the middle of the ice. Two minutes gone in the first period. So we're a little bit later starting this game than we thought we would be. And that's because of A.J. Whiffen, the goaltender for the Clarenville Caribous. Apparently the blade fell out of his skate. And I don't mean just the blade. I mean like everything fell apart on his skates. They had to add extra time to the warm-up so Whiffen could come out and face a couple of pucks because he spent most of warm-up back in the dressing room where they were trying to fix his skate. Luckily, he's okay now, and we're underway. Oates tapping it back to his defense. Walsh, dangerous pass, but he gets away with it over to Farrell. Clarenville will stop it up. Blackwood moves in. He's dispossessed, but he's got some help as Gooby chips it in deep. Love this line out there for Clarenville. Mason Reed joining Gooby and Blackwood. These guys play with such energy as that one goes all the way down the ice. Whiffin. Out to stop it in behind the goal for the Caribous. Both teams making a line change as Russell goes to pick it up for Clarenville. Shots are 2-0 in favor of the Caribous, but a turnover. Now taken by Donahue. Nobody gets a shot for Southern Shore yet. Donahue plays it out to Russell. Another dangerous pass, but they get away with it. And now here comes Oldford on the rush. Oldford tripped up as he went in over the line. Referee's arm stays down, and Pye will come back the other way. Only Pender is back on defense. Pye coming down the wing. Pye will take the shot himself. It's high. Dalton was on the other side. Two on one shaping up now for Clarenville. Donahue into the middle for Sparks. Put it just wide of the net as Dalton had Sparks well covered. Back out in front of the goal. Dug out by the breakers. And Pye will get it away over to Kavanaugh right wing. Kavanaugh on the rush. Bumps into Pender. No shot. It'll roll all the way down to Whiffen. And he will cover up for Clarenville. 
Just about three and a half minutes gone in period number one. Back underway. Breakers pick it up in the neutral zone after it was cleared out. Pender reversing direction, but onto a defensive stick. Breakers do a little back and forth, and now move it ahead for Chaff. Dispossessed as he went through the middle. Abbott took it away. Abbott trying to shovel it ahead to Earl. Couldn't do it after he had fallen. Getting back up, still on the puck. They'll try the other side as Pender will lift it high into the zone. Earl sends it around behind the net. Reed after it. Cadigan played it away, but it came back to him in the corner. Reed centering pass. Nobody there in black. Kennedy will go for a skate for the breakers. He'll come in on the left wing. Plays the puck in deep around Dyke. All the way to the back wall. Kennedy. Chaff in there to help him out. Kevin Reed trying to clog things up along with Dyke for Clarenville. Reed still can't get that puck out. Now he does. Over to Pender. And Pender will move it ahead. Finds Earl on the rush. Earl gave it away as he tried to play the puck into the zone. Clarenville will have to try again. That one missed everybody, but he's stopped by the defense of the Breakers. They'll move it ahead to Oates. Little chip to Dalton. Dalton into the middle and can't get the shot on. Brennan was flying right in there and just unable to connect and get a shot in on Whiffin. Breakers still looking for their first shot of the game as that one went just wide. Good hit along the boards as Oates bangs into Fitzgerald. Puck down into the breaker's end. Cadigan bothered by two guys down there, but he got the puck away, and the breakers will come out. Stephen Oates into the middle of Dalton. Dalton plays it out left. Back to Dalton in the middle. Backhander steered wide by the goaltender. Reed, Mason Reed picking it up ahead to Gooby. Gooby skates in, stops up over the blue line, throws it in on goal, and Yetman going to get down and cover that one up for Southern Shore. 14.37 still to go in period number one. Shots are 3 nothing right now in favor of Clarenville. The Southern Shore Brass told me before the game they like playing in this building. Big ice surface for them to work on. They've got a fast team. No shots to show for it as of yet as the Breakers look to get the puck out of their own end. Nicholas moving it to Brown in behind his goal. Brown will bank it off the boards, or went off a glove, and then kept in at the line by Dyke. Played back in behind Yetman. Picked up by the defense. Dalton tries to play it out. That takes a funny deflection, and Dyke will keep it in for Clarenville. Donahue moved the puck forward, but didn't have a lot of support, and the Breakers will get it away. Racing in is Nicholas. Nicholas goes around behind the net. Wrap around, Whiffen got there. Kept it out. First save of the game for A.J. Whiffen is a good one as he denies that. Now sparks to the net. Oh, and stretching that leg way out. The goaltender, Yetman. And then no icing as that puck went right down onto Whiffen. We continue on. Kevin Reed pushed off the puck. Pender couldn't find it. Here comes Houlihan for the breakers. He's got Cadigan with him, but neither guy can get a shot away. Cadigan will throw it in behind the net, picked up by Clarenville. They'll move it quickly to Abbott. He's got speed for days down the left side. Abbott well covered, though. Can he get free? Abbott all the way into the corner, one on four down there. Back to the line. Oldford kept it in for Clarenville. Shot on, kicked aside by Yetman. Oldford once again at the blue line. Can't get it in deep this time around, and the Breakers get it out. Over to Kennedy in the left wing. Kennedy skating in. Kennedy waits, fires, goaltender got it with the shoulder. Rebound, Chaff unable to get Wood on it. Back the other way, Earl moving in. Earl elects to throw it into the corner. They're going to turn back and go off on a change. Only Earl stayed on to chase the puck. Long pass looking for Dalton, broken up by the Caribous. It'll be sent in by Corbett. Gooby after the puck and he'll win it. Unable to feed Corbett, however. And Southern Shore gets it out to center. Hedges trying to fire it back in. Blackwood will pick it up the line. Blackwood drilled by Cadigan. Do up those chin straps, boys. 
That helmet moved on Blackwood more than I like to see. Lead pass for Oates. He'll get in over the line offside. Go the Southern Shore Breakers. 12.09 still to go in period number one. We are scoreless here at the East Link Events Center in Clarenville. Shots are 5-2 in favor of the home team. Game number two of this Herder final. Upshaw won the draw, moves straight in. Upshaw behind the net, centering pass. St. George knocks it away. Clarenville Sparks will move it forward. Delaney sending it in. A race after it. Dunahee and Walsh, the 14s. It goes to the front of the net. Has to be covered up by Yetman as that one rolled out in front. Delaney will move into the face-off circle. Puck is dropped and won by Nicholas. And the Breakers move it through the middle. That one missed. Took a deflection, though. No icing here. Whiffin will come out to play it, and he'll send it up the wall. Donahue, good little tip to his captain. Delaney skates in over the blue line. Delaney to Sparks. Sparks shot on. Good save, Yetman. Back out in front of the net, but it just goes out the crease in the other side. Pender will take it in the neutral zone. They'll move it ahead. Delaney just onside. Got it to the wall where it was taken by Pye of the Breakers. Around the boards. Pender lets it go. Stick save by Yetman. In behind the net. Sparks looking to dig it out. Swatted away by Southern Shore. Now Pye will pick it up for the Caribous. They'll get it back to the line. Over to Pender. Left point. Pender tees one up. Yetman made the save as players collide hard in front of that net. All the way back out. Dyke over to Pender. Sends it in, tipped in by Reed. Cadigan will give chase in behind the net. Breakers sending it around all the way out to the neutral zone. Russell is there waiting for Clarenville. Russell considers his options. Oldford then back to Russell. Still looking for a lead pass as he gives it back to Oldford. Oldford will get to center and dump in. Yetman out to stop it in behind the net. Reed chasing it down, but the Breakers have control. They'll play it into the middle for Kennedy. Kennedy, Chaff, and Houlihan on the rush as Kennedy carries in. Drop pass for Chaff. Chaff all the way in behind the net on his backhand. Being watched by two guys, he turns back to the forehand, and Oldford bumps into him. Another big collision down there as Clarenville throwing the body early. Russell and Kennedy in a hard battle. The puck is one out by the Caribou, and they'll get it up to Abbott. He'll dump in from center and turn off in a line change. All five guys in black. Pass up, tipped in by Dalton. St. George will go back for the Caribou, all the way behind his net. Over to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, cross ice pass from slightly behind Gooby. We turned back out to neutral ice. Puck hopped on Fitzgerald. He's got a hustle to keep it back. Hedge is able to help him out. Now Gooby knocks it forward into the attacking end. Gives his man a shove, but Farrell still with that puck. Nice job by Farrell. Moves it ahead for Oates. Oates a little bit too far for Dalton. Clarenville will send it backwards. Mason Reed tipping it in to negate an icing call. And Farrell's back into the corner in his own end. Cadigan's lost his stick. He'll pick that back up with the puck on the backboards. Still a hard battle there. It'll come out. Breakers pick it up, and they'll get away. Oates along the wing. Oates sends it across, trying to hit Cat Cadigan. He was covered by Mason Reed. Back into the middle. Can't give it to Oates. Taken away. Reed all by himself here. Gets knocked down, and Southern Shore takes over. Upshaw. Got as far as center. Was forced to turn back. Tried to feed O'Driscoll. Pass too far for him, and it's taken by Clarenville back in their own end. Pender along the near side boards, turns back at the blue line. Pender, backhand flip over to the other side of the ice. Into the middle for Delaney. 
Delaney gets in over the blue line. Out wide for Sparks. Cross to the other side. Donahue into the net. They can't pull the trigger on a shot. Gloved down by Dyke. He'll let it go from the point. That's blocked and didn't get through. Upshaw fights his way out to center. Looks to dump in deep, but it hit Pender. Pender knocked down as it was going toward the net, but it is kept away. Clarenville does enough to prevent a shot there. Shots are 8-2 in favor of Clarenville as the puck is just thrown to the open wing. Taken by the breakers as we've gone a long time without a whistle. Some of the boys are slowing down a bit. Long pass up, breakaway, Nicholas. Nicholas in on goal, backhand, and that went through the five hole, they score. Nicholas didn't handle it perfectly clean, but he had time, he got it back. And Nicholas puts it through the wickets. Fourth goal, sixth point of the postseason for Jeremy Nicholas. And it's 1-0, Southern Shore Breakers. Goal at 12-22 of the first period. Pye with the lone assist on that goal to Nicholas. Has the Southern Shore Breakers in front. 1-0 here in the first period. Breakers going back toward the goal. Can't get a shot this time. Now in front. Kavanaugh in front couldn't get a stick to it. Pye didn't take a shot as he elected to keep that puck and look for a better option. Instead, in behind the net, Clarenville took it away. Up to Abbott on the wing. Abbott playing the puck in. Gooby will give chase to it. Spurl watching him. Kennedy gets there before Abbott, takes it away for the breakers. Creates a little separation, Kennedy in, shot up high. Fitzgerald comes in to help out, but the breakers have the puck. Can't get it in front though. Earl and St. George were waiting at the side of the net. Back in behind the Caribou's net, sent around the glass. Abbott does the rest to chip it out. Cadigan will stop it down with the glove at center, fire it hard off the glass and in. Both teams changing some personnel as it's picked up in behind the net by Clarenville. Ahead Fitzgerald on the left wing. Fitzgerald looked to dump it deep, but he fanned on it. Then they would have been offside, so it's played out. Chance to go two on one here. Brennan on the wing. Brennan shot, good save by Whiffin. Whiffin denies Andrew Brennan. So one nothing Southern Shore with 6-11 to go here in period number one. Shots are 8-4 in favor of the home team. Back underway, Earl finds it in his own end. Earl will feed the right wing. Skating in is Clarenville. They'll move it back in for Earl deep. Earl plays it off the side of the net, picked up by Delaney. Back to the line for Dyke. Dyke will tee one up into the glove of the keeper, holding on Mark Yetman. Donahue into the face-off circle this time around for Clarenville as the home side looks to tie things up. Clarenville spent all of game number one trailing, sometimes by two, sometimes by one, but they stuck around all night long. Nicholas cut off, preventing him from getting out clean, and Pender cleans up the garbage. Pender will play it off the glass, gets it over to a teammate. Pass trying to feed Delaney, it does get to him. Took a deflection off Kavanaugh, but it did get there. Delaney sent it deep. Yetman out of the net, puts it into the corner. Picked up by Dalton. Dalton sending it around the boards, and Pye will take it on the far side of the ice for the breakers. Pye moves in, trying to split the D. Easier said than done. Delaney turns it back. Abbott jumping onto the ice, but it's kept away from him. Now they'll try again. Donahue moving forward along with Abbott. Donahue moves in, going to keep it himself. Shot save made by Yetman. That puck was still in front of him, but it is cleared away. 
Donaghy throwing it out in front, hit the goaltender's pads, and it bounces to a player in white, O'Driscoll on the rush. O'Driscoll throws it back out in front of the net. Oates will wait, measure, fire, put it up high. He had room over the goaltender's shoulder, but just couldn't get it on target. Knocked out by Clarenville. Breakers move it forward again, O'Driscoll. Going to play the puck in deep into the corner. Upshaw is there. Upshaw throws it back out. O'Driscoll put it across the face of goal. Out the other side. Back into the corner on the far side of the ice. Could not handle the pass. And it's dug out by Clarenville. Too far for Abbott. Cadigan will turn it back. Oates will pick it up. Matthew Oates lifting it in. He's going to go off and complete a line change as his teammates give chase. Chaff and Houlihan working down there in the corner. Gooby and Hedges trying to get it away. They'll get it up to Blackwood. And Blackwood will just knock this one out to center ice. Riley Spurl quickly over to Cadigan, back to Spurl. Spurl under some pressure. Shot that into the linesman. But the breakers stay with it. Cadigan over center, he'll dump in. Goaltender thinks better of it, goes back into his net. As the Caribou get it back to the line, but not out. Cadigan will step into one. A scramble at the side of the goal. Whiffin down, and he makes a save, somehow pulling that in between the legs. And the intensity ratchets up here in game number two as the linesman having some difficulty pulling these players apart at the side of the Clarenville net. And I mean that, those players were really intertwined. Abbott and Kennedy, and both of them are gonna go to the penalty box. Roughing against both men, five on five, we're gonna stay. That's Hedges, not Abbott. So Kennedy and Hedges are in the penalty box. But again, we stay five on five as the roughing penalties cancel one another out. Off of the draw, poked out by Clarenville. As Earl gets it out, shot back in by Cadigan, or at least he tried to. Now it takes a deflection. Faceoff going to come back the other way. Down to the Southern Shore blue line. Blake Dalton stepping into the faceoff circle against Delaney. A lot of double names on Southern Shore. Blake Dalton is 39. Daniel is 82. Brought in by Clarenville, Delaney turns in the corner. Tried to give it to Donaghy, couldn't handle it. And out they come, Oates moving it ahead. Brennan firing it in for Southern Shore. Stephen Oates chasing it down, he'll get there. Got that puck out in front of the net. Now he wants to go off in a line change, but hello puck, he'll stay on for a moment. Knocked off of a stick, but Cadigan will keep it back in, keep the pressure on for the breakers. Dyke knocks it free for Clarenville. He'll move it up, finds Kevin Reed. Reed, cross ice for Earl, passes behind him, and the Breakers get possession. Moved ahead for Pye. Pye stopped just as he went over the line, but gets the puck in for Nicholas, the goal scorer in the hockey game. Nicholas went in behind the net, puck stopped on him, and then given away to Clarenville, chance to go two on one. Southern Shore hustling defenders back in as Reed moves in. Abbott, backhander scores! What a beauty! Highlight real goal as Nick Abbott finishes backhander top shelf. Abbott's sixth goal, seventh point of the playoffs, and we're tied at one. That's Abbott from Reed.
Kevin Reed getting his third helper and 12th point of the postseason as the game gets tied up. 1.45 to go in period number one, and we are a 1-1 score. Abbott sending it in. Clarenville tags up quickly, give chase after the puck. Reed will find it in the corner, plays it back to the point. Nobody there. Defense was changing. Pender will take it now. Move forward. Did that take a deflection? No, it did not. Icing call against Clarenville. Shots are 12-6 in favor of the Clarenville Caribou over the Southern Shore Breakers. Tied at one with 1.25 to go here in the first. And yes, I'm well aware. I end up going back and forth throughout the game between calling the home team tonight the Caribou and the Caribous. More than one Caribou. I recognize the word for that is Caribou, but the logo at center ice says Caribous with an S. So I guess that's what we go with. Spurl from the line, scores! Riley Spurl with the shot, redirected on the way in. And the Breakers reestablish the lead, it's 2-1. Brennan got his stick to it. Andrew Brennan, first goal, first point. Of the postseason, as he redirects Spurl's shot into the cage. Less than a minute in between goals here in period one. Riley Spurl, that assist is his first point of the postseason as well. So some new names getting onto the board for the Southern Shore Breakers, and that's what you want in the playoffs. You want to see everybody producing, everybody adding something. Into the final minute of period number one as Clarenville picks it up deep in their own end, Delaney. He'll give it to Pender. Pender colliding with Nicholas as the puck comes to the breakers, then given right back away. Delaney's got to wait for a teammate to get on side as he turns in the middle. Ahead for Earl. They gave Stephen Oates the lone assist, although it was very clearly Riley Spurl that took the point shot. Whatever. I'm going to give an assist to each of them. Why? Because I can. That's why. So. So it is 2-1. Southern Shore Breakers lead it here late in the first period. Clarenville with the offensive zone faceoff. They've got 29 seconds left. Waved out of the circle here. As Reed now opposes Kennedy. Puck is won by Kevin Reed. Hedges tries to drive it toward the net, but it's blocked. Mason Reed will follow up with the puck, but can't get a shot away. Dalton sending it around the boards. Kennedy will rush after it. Kennedy, 15 seconds left, just chips it off the boards. Clarenville, get it back out. Pender into the middle. Time for one more rush. Clarenville has five seconds left as Kevin Reed stuck in the neutral zone here. He's going to dump in, and no one's going to get to that. So that is all for the first period of play here at the Eastlink Events Center in Clarenville. Shots on goal were 12-7 in favor of Clarenville in that first period but it's the Southern Shore Breakers that have the two to one lead after the opening 20 minutes. First goal of the game at 12-22. Coming off the stick of number 16, Jeremy Nicholas getting his fourth goal, sixth point of the playoffs. Assisted by number 10, Brandon Pye. Pye getting his fifth helper and eighth point of the playoffs. Clarenville answers at 17-49. As Abbott gets the goal. Set up by Reed. Abbott getting his sixth goal, seventh point of the postseason. Reed with his third helper and 12th point. And then at 18.45, Southern Shore regains the lead as Andrew Brennan gets his first goal of the postseason. Riley Spurl with the initial shot for his first assist. We're going to take a break now for the first intermission, and we'll be back. It's 2-1 breakers after one period on AOTV.
Welcome back to East Link Event Center in Clarenville. Game number two of this Herder Memorial Championship Series, the finals of the Avalon East Senior Hockey League. 20 minutes are in the books, and it's a 2-1 lead for the visitors. Southern Shore Breakers with that 2-1 lead over the Clarenville Ford Caribou. Nicholas and Brennan, the goal scorers for Southern Shore. Abbott answering back for Clarenville. Still lots of hockey to be played in this one. Southern Shore leads the series, one game to none, after a 4-3 victory last night. Back in mobile. Only two penalties in that first period and they were coincidental minors, so we have not had a power play for either team. Clarenville in the black jerseys with the white and red trim. They're attacking from left to right on your screen in the second period. Southern Shore Breakers in the white and maroon. And they're attacking from right to left. My name is Matthew Little, Nathan Edwards behind the camera, and we are so glad to be with you for this one as we get set for period number two. Slight delay here. Nicholas was just talking with the referees. Oh, here comes the squeegee. There it goes. Going to clear up a little standing water in front of the Southern Shore goal. Fantastic crowd on hand here in Clarenville. Not sure how many it is, but it's huge. Wonderful to see people coming out supporting senior hockey. All right. Squeegee's off the ice. We're ready to go. Nicholas and Delaney. Puck is dropped, one by the breakers, and we're underway in period two. Cadigan moving up to Pye at center. He's able to knock it in. Pender going to chase it down, send it around the boards over to the far side of the ice. Oh, Nicholas swapped at it, and his stick broke in half. Man, they don't make them like they used to. Nicholas trying to get new lumber. As Clarenville's on the attack, Pender going to the net. Sharp angle shot saved by Yetman. And the goalie will hold on to that one. You do see the sticks break, you know, when someone slashes them or when there's maybe a big shot, but that wasn't, uh, didn't look like a real violent move. Just reached out for the puck and boom, the stick broke in two. So the linesman collects the pieces of the broken stick, gives those back to the bench, and we can get going again. Just 30 seconds gone in the period as Pender takes a big shot. That one didn't get through. Poked out by the breakers and a chance to go for Pye. Pye looking for help, tried to feed Nicholas. Nicholas back into Pye in behind the net, but taken away as Delaney leaves it back there for Dunahee. Dunahee able to move it forward. Played a little bit too far for Delaney. Shot back in by Cadigan. Whiffin will come out, stop it in behind the net. Taken by Dyke. Dyke moves it to Pender on the rush. Pender moves in, fake the big shot. Pender moving into goal. Pender went in behind the net, not able to come out in front as he was cut off by Kennedy. All the way back out at center ice. Spurl. Brought in Houlihan, 
collides with Mason Reed, went down, but the breakers maintain possession. Kennedy couldn't get the pass across. Chaff was wide open over on the other side. Russell moving it up to Reed. Reed flipping the puck in the air. Kevin to Mason Reed. Mason now taps it forward, but the breakers take it away. Kennedy, oh, Abbott in a rush for it. It was played back into the breakers' end, but not to either of the defenders, just kind of went between them, and Abbott thought he had a chance to go on goal. Houlihan directs it in from center, taken by Russell back in his own end for Clarenville. Russell will take it in behind the goal. Two minutes gone in the period as Russell feeds the far side of the ice. Mason Reed tipping it forward. On the rush is Abbott. Can't get around Dalton, though. Pushes him out of the way. Russell there at the point to keep it in. He'll throw it towards the net, but it hit Mason Reed. Reed will center the puck into Abbott's skates. He couldn't turn and get a shot away. Great pressure by Clarenville to start this period. Mason Reed again tries to center the puck, and it's blocked again. Southern Shore Breakers doing a very good job getting bodies in the lanes as that one goes down the ice for an icing call. Just over two and a half minutes gone here in the second period. Still 2-1, Southern Shore Breakers in front. Gooby lines up in the face-off dot. The Breakers win the draw. Nicholas won it. Back to the defense. Farrell around the boards. Cap. That's an interesting collision. Nicholas coming back down the ice for Southern Shore. Nicholas puts it in front of the net. Went off the defender, but it went wide of the goal. Cavanaugh took a bump earlier. Moved it to Nicholas. Tried to give it back to him. Deflected away by Clarenville. They'll get it up to Blackwood, but he couldn't handle the pass. Farrell will turn it back. He's to center. Looks to dump in and hit St. George. And they... Stop the play there. Just past the three-minute mark of the period. Face-off come back out inside the line. Chaff to take the face-off against Delaney. Chaff able to win the draw for Southern Shore. Puck is played in behind the goal. Thomas Hedges jumping on it quickly for the Caribous. Kept in by Kennedy. Houlihan collides with Hedges as Kennedy found the puck into the middle just out of the reach of Chaff. Stuck out that stick as far as it would go but just couldn't pull it in. Donahue stopped just inside the line. Tried to make a centering pass. Taken away as Kennedy takes it on the back wall in his own end for the breakers. Kennedy puts on the brakes. Now feeds a teammate and sent up the boards. Switching sides of the ice is Chaff. And Chaff knocked down as he tried to make a pass. Dunning, he takes the puck away and gives it back to the D. Hedges back to Dunahee into the middle for Earl. He'll fire it right on to goal, and that'll be held on to. Mark Yetman keeping it against the body. 16.04 still to go in period two. 2-1 game, Southern Shore Breakers in front, all the scoring in the first period. Reed wins the draw for Clarenville, Dyke's point shot goes wide of the net. Stephen Oates picking it up for the Breakers, it'll be moved in but taken away immediately by the Caribou. Breakers would have been offside anyway. Dyke moves it ahead for Abbott, bit too far for him. Cadigan chasing it down, gets out of the way of Mason Reed, who was trying to provide a hit. Cadigan over to the far side, nobody home. Knocked in by Pender. Everybody gets back on side as Yetman gives the puck to his defense. Long one up for Brennan. Brennan had Dalton go into the net, pass just off the mark. That would have been a beautiful opportunity. Here comes Abbott. Abbott with a drop pass for Reed. Reed holds up, back for Pender, and hopped over the blade of his stick. And the breakers a chance to go. Ahead for Oates, he will get there. No, he won't, as the referee blows the play down.
That puck had just enough momentum to stay going in front of Oates. And we get the icing call against Southern Shore. Face off, not done fairly. We'll do that again. Shots are 14 to 7 in favor of Clarenville. They trail by one. Face off, Delaney. Back to the line. St. George tries to put it through. That's blocked by Pai. Dalton plays it off the glass, but it hit a body and stays in. Donahue gets it to Earl. Earl snapped the shot, hit the goalie in the mask. We continue on at the side of the goal. In front, Delaney couldn't put it home. As close as Clarenville can possibly come without actually putting it in the net. Two great chances on that exchange. Now the breakers away. Two on one shaping up. Nicholas and Kavanaugh. Nicholas forced out wide. His shot hit the side of the net. Nicholas back to the point. Fired through. Kick save made by a whippin. Off the glass and out from Clarenville. Brown trying to turn it back in. Hedges will stop it at his blue line. Give it to Donahue. Connor Donahue gains a line. Earl just on side. Earl long range shot. Put it up over the, over the net and off the glass. Taken by the breakers. Southern Shore coming out of their own end. Lead pass ahead, Houlihan. Houlihan trying to spring his man but gets knocked down and the pass blocked. Clarenville with a chance to counter. Two on two. Hedges comes down the ice. Hedges will put it on goal. And a good stick save made by Yetman. Puck bounces out of the zone. Chaff trying to protect it. Forced to go backwards into his own end. And he'll give it to Walsh, who was open on the near side. Knocked in by Kennedy. Houlihan going to give chase. Oldford behind his net. Houlihan bumps him. Puck squirts loose on the other side. Chaff is going to get a stick to it, but he's bothered by Corbett. Back to the line of Farrell, not able to hold that blue line. Farrell will turn back and try again. His teammates are changing, so Farrell just dumps in. Goaltender Whiffin out to stop it in behind the goal. Picked up by Clarenville. 6.45 gone as it's moved in. Dalton ripped one, trying to find the top corner, put it high and wide. Russell moving it around for Sparks. Sparks will put it back over to the other side of the ice. Moved ahead, looking for Corbett, intercepted by Dalton, but one back quickly by Clarenville, and they're on the go. Sparks will take it, give it back to Oldford coming in. Oldford tried to snap a shot, and that's blocked as Walsh. Got a stick in the way. Big hit coming on the other side and delivered as Corbett stepped into his man. Brennan moves in. Brennan's got one goal tonight, looking for two. Gave it to Dalton, and the pass just hopped over his stick. If that's tape to tape, that's in the back of the net. Spurl not able to put the puck deep. Brennan will, but Oates was deep in the zone. They're going to go off in a line change as Clarenville picks it up in their own end. Caribou look for a way down the ice. Move it forward for Abbott. Now loose in the neutral zone, picked up by the breakers. Riley Spurl ahead for Pai. Pai out wide. Pai gets it across. Nicholas wasn't quite there in time. Nicholas reverses direction, puts it back in behind the net. Only Clarenville players there. Moved up into the middle. Kevin Reed couldn't control that one as Spurl sends it back in. Oldford behind his net for Clarenville. Bothered by Pye. Kavanaugh rushed in, got a chance. Nicholas tries to drive one that's blocked off a body in front. Kavanaugh back to the line. Spurl takes a shot, bounces up in the air. Russell will glove it down. And Russell going to clear this one out all the way down as it'll miss the net. That's an icing call against Clarenville. And back in on goal, Whiffen covers it up.
11 and a half to go. Here in period number two. Face off controlled by the breakers. Oates trying to dig it out along the wall. Trying to get it away from Pender, but Pender controlled. Send it over to the other side of the ice. Ahead for Earl. Earl up to Donahue on the rush. Donahue trying to get through the defenders. Good active stick by Brown. Took that one away. Oates trying to keep it in. Can't do it. And Dyke will drop it back. Pender was creeping up a little bit. Wasn't there to receive that pass. Got to go all the way back. And Upshaw drives him into the glass. Now Delaney trying to hold up his man as he went behind the net. He's pinched off the puck. But the breakers follow up well. Now back in behind the net. Dyke will get there first for Clarenville. And back to Donahue. Connor Donahue along the near boards here. Cross ice pass. Trying to spring Earl. Chaff got a stick on it. Kept in though. Delaney all the way into the corner. In a battle with Dalton who knocked it free. Chaff will pick it up behind his net for the breakers. Chaff over to Kennedy in the left side. He'll bang it in. St. George will go to get it for Clarenville. Took a hit from Houlihan in the process. Now Walsh keeps it in. Shot on goal. Off the stick of Houlihan. Up and high. As Houlihan and St. George collide hard. Clarenville coming back out of their own zone. Pass looking for Earl, but the puck made a line change. So we get a play stoppage just before the halfway point of the hockey game. Still 2-1, Southern Shore Breakers over the Clarenville Caribou. All the scoring in the first period. There's the halfway point of the game as Clarenville moves in. Farrell all the way into the corner, hit hard by Hedges. Puck goes to the wall, Fitzgerald takes a shove down to the ice. Back to the line, but not out. Claren or Southern Shore try to move it across. Oates trying to make a pass, and that's broken up. Breakers with the puck. They'll try again. Give it to Walsh. Walsh ahead. Brennan. Brennan taking away his pass. Sparks trying to give it to Hedges. Hedges did not expect that to come back to him, and Brennan took it away. Brennan up the boards to Walsh. He'll play it out. Fitzgerald will pick it up. Has a stick lifted by Brennan. Fitzgerald stayed with the puck, however. Gave it back to the D. And Hedges over to the other side of the ice. Back into the middle. Quickly for Abbott. Abbott goes out wide, chops it deep. Allows his teammates to make a line change. Walsh moves it forward for Southern Shore. Oates able to knock it in, but taken away by Dyke. And now Pender, long pass up Mason Reed. Drops it for Abbott. Abbott send it into the middle looking for Kevin Reed and not able to connect on the pass as Reed was well covered. Southern Shore gets it into offensive ice. Mason Reed bumps into Nicholas. He's got support back there and the Caribou take the puck away. It's Mike Dyke. Dyke ahead for Reed. Kevin Reed carrying it forward. He'll throw it in wide a goal. Abbott will go to pick it up in the corner there with Spurl. Abbott loses a stick and the breaker is able to come away with it. Nicholas will carry it in over the line. They're just on side. Nicholas with a shot blocked by Dyke. Dyke's got a big frame. He's able to make those blocks. Reed cross ice. They get it to Pender. Pender can't get around the D-man, but Earl keeps it into the blue line. Put it in along the wall. Taken away by the breakers. They'll send it out. Ahead for Pye. He's one-on-one -on -one here. Pye's got to stop and wait for help. Sends it to the other side of the ice. Kavanaugh settles in for Nicholas. Kept out by Whiffen, who's in tight to the post. No room on the left side of A.J. Whiffen. Donahue skates in. Drop pass Delaney. Delaney to Russell. Drives it on. And a great save made by Mark Yetman. Yeah, not a lot between these two teams. Shots are 18 to eight. Significant lead there in favor of Clarenville as they have tested Yetman many times. Yetman equal to the task on all but one shot.
Face off one by Southern Shore. As it's sent around, a Driscoll can't clear the zone as it was hemmed in by Oldford. Now it's chopped out, but Russell waiting there at center. Russell not able to make hay with it. He'll try again. And Southern Shore had to drop back. They were offside. Gave Russell lots of time. Now a pass picked off in the middle. Upshaw, pass a bit too far for Kennedy. Kennedy will race after it. He'll get there. Plays it around to the corner to himself here in the near side. Kennedy takes a bump down there. He's got some support. Kennedy comes up with the puck to the line. Dalton drives it through. Whiffin made the save off the blocker. Popped up in the air, but it falls to Clarenville. Dunahy going for a skate as Kennedy lost his stick. That opened some space for him. Dunahy gets it in and chips it hard as he was going down, but he got it past Brown. Kennedy still without lumber. He's going to turn and go back to the bench as Earl puts it on goal, kicked away by Yetman. Clarenville tries another shot, this one blocked, but Blackwood steps up to keep it in. Bouncing puck corralled by Blackwood. Turns away from Dalton, gets knocked down, but right back up and in it, gets pulled down by Dalton. Away come the Breakers. Fans want a penalty that doesn't come. Breakers move it in, but they don't get a shot away. Great defensive play to stay with them. As they deny Houlihan a shot, back at the line, Brown couldn't touch that. Cadigan's got to go all the way back in his own end. Ahead for Brennan. He just tipped it in, but from the wrong side of center. So that is an icing call against Southern Shore. It has been a fast-paced game here in Clarenville. Game number two of this Herder Memorial Championship. Clarenville won the draw clean. Back to Dyke at the right point. Dyke moves it in, but stopped by Cadigan. Cadigan will get it ahead. Dalton able to knock it in. Oates going to give chase to it in the corner. And Pender steps into him. All the way to the backboards. Reed digs the puck out for Clarenville. Back to the line, but Spurl got his glove down to hold it. The net is off. Oh, and Pender, look at this. Throws a punch and gets one back. Big boys getting mixed up. They're both going to go to the penalty box. And talk, well, Pender's talking the whole way with Oates. Roughing on Oates, cross-checking on Pender. And I don't think those two have seen the last of each other tonight. Penalties at 14-15. It was four minutes ago for the cross check, two minutes for the rough. Yeah, so it was Pender that got the extra two. Oh yeah, of course they're chirping. They'll be chirping for the next two minutes. So we get back underway, and we have the first power play of the hockey game. It belongs to the Southern Shore Breakers with 5.35 to go in this second period. Breakers ahead one. Always. So Abbott is serving the extra two. It wasn't four minutes for cross-checking because let's face it, I've never seen four minutes for cross-checking before. So two minutes for cross-checking and two minutes for roughing on Pender and just two minutes for roughing against Oates was the call. 5.14 to go in the second period. 31 seconds elapsed in the power play for Southern Shore. And the referee is going to have a word. 
He's sending Russell back as we get underway. Clarenville able to send the puck all the way down the ice and take some more time out of the Breakers' power play. Cadigan going back to get it. Yetman had played it away. Earl followed him the whole way, took it away. Sharp angle shot and a glove save, Yetman. Well, don't tell Chad Earl he's killing a penalty. He's as offensive as ever. Kavanaugh moves it to Brennan with speed. Brennan in on goal and Hedges got his stick in front of that, took most of the mustard off the shot. Then Whiffen picks it up inside of the goal. 49 seconds remaining in the power play for the Southern Shore Breakers. Shots are 20 to 11 in favor of Clarenville with 4.34 to go in the second period. Clarenville hard around the boards all the way down the ice again. Yetman will stop it in behind the net, let Cadigan take control. 35 seconds left in the power play as Chaff comes in. Chaff moves it into the back wall, out in front. Kennedy will bang away, couldn't get it home, and sent out by Clarenville. Up to Reed. Reed with a nice quick turn, creating a little space before throwing it to the far side of the ice. Just taking a few extra seconds out of the power play. Puck sent down the ice. This will go all the way for an icing call. Kennedy was smashing his stick on the ice at the blue line because he was waiting there with no Clarenville players around him. They were changing, but they never did get the puck to him. We get back underway as the final seconds come off the clock. There's Abbott out of the penalty box as he was serving the extra two. Dyke reversing directions for the Caribou. Dalton will send it off the glass. It'll get out all the way to Dyke who was waiting again at center. Cross to St. George, he'll rip it in. Under three and a half to go in the second period as Delaney and Nicholas fight for it along the boards. Abbott digs it out. Centering pass taken by Pye, and he'll clear it out. Dyke back into his own end for Clarenville. Dyke moves it forward, chipped ahead by Abbott, but nobody on the other end of it. And Southern Shore will turn it back. The Breakers, Kavanaugh, carries it on the left side. Kavanaugh sends it all the way to the backboards. Breakers are changing. Kavanaugh will give chase himself, but the Caribou pick it up. Clarenville tried to send it forward to hit Kennedy. Then Kennedy took a shot well wide of the goal. Chaff to Kennedy, off the wall to Spurl. Moving it back in, it'll go all the way to Whiffen, and the goaltender is going to cover that one up. Two and a half to go in the second period. As Oates and Pender are allowed out of the box or Oates is anyway. Timekeeper's just gonna get a word with the referee. But the extra two minutes is over. Pender should be good to go. Nope. Pender will stay put. Guess he's got to wait an extra two. We get a scrum off the draw, dug out by the breakers. Backhand shot that's blocked off the body of Hedges, and he'll clear it out. Not far enough for icing. Cadigan will pick it up in his own end. Cadigan, long pass up into the middle, right onto the tape of Upshaw. Upshaw snaps a shot that went off of defender up and out of play. Gives us a play stoppage with 2.12 to go here in period two.
Nicholas into the faceoff circle for the Breakers. Against Kevin Reed. Nicholas won it to Pye in the corner. Pye under a lot of pressure. Nicholas will come in to help him out, but Reed lifts it. Back to the point. Cadigan held it in. Cadigan will put it into the corner on the far side. Kavanaugh after it, but Dyke played it away. Spurl whiffed on that one, but he's got teammates behind him, so no harm, no foul. Mason Reed rushes in, takes the puck away. Gave it to Kevin. Back to Mason. Back to the line, Dyke. Over to the other side. Clarenville moving it well. Shot in. It did go off a stick in front, but didn't go into the net. Dyke will set up again as he moves it into the corner. And now sent around him. This one to go all the way down the ice. Not far enough for icing one more time. Puck wobbling. And the former Amherst Rambler has to go back and pick it up in his own end. St. George bumped off the puck by Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh, tight angle, shot down low, and Whiffen made a good save at the leg pad. Delaney sending it up the wall to Earl, taken away. Southern Shore skates behind the net, into the middle. Houlihan directs it on goal, just out of the range of Kennedy, trying to follow up on the rebound. Just a minute to go here in period two, as Southern Shore breakers work it along the backboards. Chaff gets knocked down, but back up and still on the puck. Chaff now bumped off of it as Delaney takes it away over to Donahue on the right side. Connor Donahue going to fire it in. Chasing after it as early. Won the puck, but he couldn't get a shot on net. Kept in now by Reed from the line. Big shot. That's blocked as it hit Cadigan and never got to the net. Sent out, tipped ahead by Dalton. A race after the puck. And Russell, perfect job to make sure Dalton doesn't get a shot. Hedges sends it out. Cadigan will stop it at center. Final 18 seconds of the period as Cadigan shoots it in. Whiffen stops it behind the net. Russell over to Donahue. Southern Shore takes it away. Breakers with one last chance here. Cross, shot, Whiffen tight to the post. And the play is stopped with 5.3 seconds remaining. And now Pender is out of the penalty box and can join his teammates. Pender's immediately going to go on here for the final draw with five seconds to go in the period. Brennan will have to win it clean and win it quick. If the breakers are going to do anything with it, he doesn't. As Delaney won the draw all the way in behind the net, Hedges will hold it against the backboards, and that does it for period two. No scoring in the second period. We are the same as we started the frame, 2-1. Southern Shore Breakers over the Clarenville Caribou. Shots are 20 to 14 at this point in the hockey game. Clarenville in front there, but they trail by one with 20 minutes left in the hockey game. Stay with us, third period's on the way on AOTV.
Welcome back to the East Link Event Center in Clarenville. It's game number two of this Herder Memorial Championship Series, the finals of the Avalon East Senior Hockey League. A one game to none lead in the series for the Southern Shore Breakers, and they lead this game by one goal as well, 2-1 after 40 minutes. All the scoring in the first period, nothing in the second for either side. Shots are 20 to 14 in favor of Clarenville through 40 minutes. But the Caribous will be going back to Mobile. Down two games to one if they can't find at least one goal here in this third period. You don't want to be 2-0 down going on the road. Whiffin will come out of the net here, send that one around the boards. Pender can't clear the zone. Pike keeps it in. Taken by the Caribou. They'll try again. This time it's Donahue. Sees Earl streaking in, so he just fires it. Earl couldn't get to it. Neither can Delaney as it's sent back out into neutral ice. Donahue has to wait for teammates to get on side before he dumps it in. Earl will go get it again and play it away from him one more time. This time Cadigan getting rid of it. Up to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh lifts it in. Hedges. Keeps it away from the attacker, Kennedy. And then back to Hedges in behind the net. Hedges to St. George. Couldn't handle it. Puck was rolling. Chaff got it to Kennedy. Kennedy pushed into the wall in a hard battle with Hedges. Clarenville find it. You can hear people shouting, wheel, wheel, as they give it to Abbott. Abbott certainly can wheel, but in this case gets pushed into the boards by Dalton. Clarenville trying to center it to Reed. That didn't work. Reed will follow it all the way over to the other side, and Kennedy falls into the boards right back up. Abbott for Clarenville couldn't control, chipped out by the breakers. Shot right back in by the Caribou. They'll tag up. Brown will pick up the puck in his own zone and move it forward. Finds Kennedy. Kennedy gains the blue line. Kennedy moving in. Takes a shot blocked off the shin pads of the defender. Moved ahead for Reed. Three on three. Reed over to Abbott. Abbott into the middle. Mason Reed slapping it toward the net, but it never got there. Blocked off some skates. For not the first time tonight, Clarenville probably guilty of making one too many passes. They've got 20 shots on goal, but they need more. Don't look for the perfect play. Take your shot. When you put pucks on net, good things happen. Remember Pender's goal last night. He wasn't even inside the blue line. But just a hard shot on net, and it went in. Kept in by Oates for the breakers. Oldford will pick it up for the Caribou along the backboards. And Clarenville will skate out. Gooby throwing it in past the net from center. Blackwood not able to hold it up. It'll get outside the line. Oates will fire it, or Dyke will fire it back in as Farrell picks up behind his net around two Oates. Can't clear the zone. Oh, that just hopped over the stick of Pender, and it did clear the blue line. Clarenville fires in. Nobody home. Play continues as players collide along the backboards. Sparks not there in time. Gooby couldn't find it either. And out now comes Upshaw. Upshaw plays it in off of Pender. Oates will go to pick it up in the corner. Stephen Oates back to the corner for Walsh. All the way in behind the net. Upshaw is there. Matthew Oates in front of the net as Upshaw gets taken down by Pender. And the referee's arm goes up. The refs have called very little throughout two games of the series, but they get Pender here for a trip, and the fans do not like it. They let the stripes hear it. So the Breakers on their second power play of the night. Two 
Off some skates in front and Reed able to get rid of it. Good puck movement by the breakers, but found by Reed and sent down the ice. Some fresh penalty killers jump out for the Caribou. As the puck goes in, Nicholas all the way into the corner battling against St. George. Played away from Pye. Players race after it, Clarenville find it. Reed sends it ahead for Delaney. Shorthanded chance, Delaney looking for Reed. Reed was only half able to settle down that bouncing puck and didn't really get a clean shot on net. Back come the breakers, ahead for Pye. Pye throws it across. Nicholas can't pit it past Whiffin. Beautiful setup. But the goaltender does his job. We remain a one goal game. 50 seconds remaining in the power play for the Breakers. They're second of the night, they're 0 for 1. That shot blocked by Dyke, and it'll be cleared out again by Clarenville. The Cowbells ring in celebration. As the Caribou take more time out of the power play. And then Donahue knocked the puck free. Cadigan a hustle back and keep it away from the former Yarmouth Mariner, but it's one right back. Dyke on goal! Or Earl, excuse me, on goal. And it is kept out by Yetman as he stops a shorthanded chance. And Yetman out of his net to send that puck up to Chaff. He's got 12 seconds left to work with the man advantage as Chaff gains the blue line. Chaff doesn't fancy a shot this time around. Back to the line for Dalton. Dalton over to Cadigan. Faked the shot. Cadigan's shot deflected away. And Pender returns to the ice. Penalty over. Dalton, shot goes off the leg of St. George, came down at the side of the net. Whiffen didn't know where it was. Chaff knocked off his stick. He'll chase it to the back wall. Still there as he sends it around the boards, Cadigan. He'll fire toward the goal. Stick save made by Whiffen as he puts it into the corner. Long pass up to Kevin Reed on the attack. Reed gets over the blue line, stops, throws it into the corner. Abbott going to go get it. Abbott pushed out of the way, allowing the breakers to come up with the puck. But Abbott, still there, keeps it in for the Caribou. They try to give it back to him. Nicholas took it away, and it's back out to center ice. Clarenville moves right back in and on the attack. Mason Reed this time, cross to the other side of the ice. Russell calling for it at the point. They'll give it to Pender instead. Russell now. Russell will send it through, blocked off some skates. And Kavanaugh picks it up. Mason Reed is down, and nothing going to come of this as we come back down the ice. Kavanaugh. Can't get a shot on goal. Puck played out in front. Nobody home. Abbott will pick it up and come back. Mason Reed, none too happy as he gets back to the bench. I think the referee was accusing him of diving. Now Dalton picks it up. A step on Pender. Dalton, shot hit the post. And the fans in Clarenville applaud the post as it makes the save. Keeping it a one goal game. Less than 13 minutes to go. Long pass up to Earl. He'll get in. Earl snaps a shot, and that's blocked off some legs. Dalton had his body in front. Oates skates in on the wing. Oates drags around the defender. Oates didn't get everything on that. Earl managed to get his stick onto that of Oates. Oates will get another chance. That one's on goal, and a great save made by Whiffen as he directs it over to the far wall. Clarenville one more time. They'll give it to Hedges, and he'll move up ice. Ahead for Earl on the right wing. Earl just sends it around. Delaney here on the side. Back behind the net for Earl. Earl protecting the puck. Comes loose in behind the net. Delaney will go after it. Spurl got there first. And it does clear the zone as it hops over the stick and goes out and down the ice. And that puck just with enough momentum to get all the way down. Puck cleared out and down the ice one more time. This will be another icing call. 12 minutes to go here in the third. We talked to the coaches during the intermission. What do those teams need to do? What were the keys to the period coming into this one? For the Caribou, trying to come back and get in this game, it was more pressure, a better forecheck. That's what they want to see out of the players 
in order to create more chances to be able to get to that puck in the offensive zone. Word from the breakers, use momentum, use energy to their advantage. They've got the lead and they're doing well here in this third period, being able to block some things up. They had the power play as well, but weren't anything to do with it as Kennedy drives it on. Kennedy following up his own chance and it's kept out by Whiffen. Great job by Kennedy, just go to the net. Another shot on, another, and he sticks out the toe. Another one as he denies Houlihan, and yes, it's in. It just squeaked over the line. Houlihan is going to get the goal and make it a two-goal lead. 3-1 Southern Shore Breakers. Kennedy's going to lead the line. Houlihan had the initial shot. Whiffen had just come up with probably three outstanding saves. But Southern Shore has been using that momentum in this third period. And they now lead in shots 22-20. Southern Shore Breakers have had the last eight shots consecutively in this game. Not what Clarenville needs, they now trail by two. Hedges will stop it up in the neutral zone and he'll fire it in over center. All the way around the boards, Cadigan does the rest to get it out. Pye picking it up for the breakers. Lead pass ahead, they didn't know that was coming. Nicholas taken by Hedges. It is Houlihan getting the goal from Kennedy. Houlihan's second goal, second point of the postseason, assisted by Kennedy, getting his fourth assist and seventh point of the postseason for the Southern Shore Breakers. Breakers get it out down the ice, and icing is called. one lead for the Southern Shore Breakers here in game number two of this Herder final. Chad Earl throws one just wide of the net. Dyke is there to keep it in at the far point. Dunahy in the corner being bothered by Dalton. They try to slap it down and it's knocked away from the side of the net. Er Dyke is once again there to keep it in for Earl around for Dunahy. Dunahy under pressure got it back to Earl in behind the net. Got it out to Dyke slaps it just wide of the net. Good strike from Dyke just off the mark. Delaney out in front, it goes off Earl and in! Goal! Clarenville for Caribou! 3-2! Delaney below the red line, throws it out in front. It hits Chad Earl and goes in. I've already said it in this series, and I say it again. They don't ask how, they ask how many. 10-10, gone in the third period, as Earl makes it a one-goal game. Chad Earl, 10th goal of the point season. Here's... Delaney and St. George will pick up the assists. A huge pop out of this building. The hometown crowd, there's lots of them in the seats and they're loving it. Here comes Pender on the attack, drop for Gooby. Gooby couldn't give it back to him and it's poked out by the breakers. Abbott will track it back into his own end for Clarenville. Both teams making changes as St. George gives it away in the wall. 
In front, can't connect with Kennedy. Good centering pass just off the mark. Here comes Kevin Reed on the attack. Brought down by Nichols. Again, the fans want a call. They're not going to get it. Kevin Reed puts it back into the middle, goes off a stick. Good job by Dyke to get there in time. Again, Dyke trying to get to the puck. Cadigan just went into statue mode in front of Dyke and would not let him go forward. Centering pass, Nicholas all by himself. Nicholas across, own goal! Oh, and it goes off the defenseman, Dyke and in. Nicholas should get credit for his second of the game as it's 4-2 Southern Shore. They center the puck in front and it goes off a body and in. So once again, the Caribou down two. And it is Nicholas who's going to get credit for the goal. From Pai and Kavanaugh. Nicholas from Pai and Kavanaugh. Eight oh two remaining. 4-2, Southern Shore Breakers in front. Shots are 24-21 in favor of the Breakers. They win the draw here, but it went past the defenseman. Cadigan's got to go all the way back, that puck up on its edge and rolling. He'll drop it there for Spurl, who has to get rid of it in a hurry as Earl was coming in after him. Ahead for Houlihan. Houlihan trying to beat Pender. Pender shoves him out of the way and down to the ice. Chaff knocked down into the corner. He can't get in there. But the puck stayed around his body. Clarenville unable to take it away. Pender chopping at Houlihan. Trying to push him out of the way. Houlihan killing time. And finally the referee blows the whistle and brings play to a stop with the puck on the boards. And Pender and the referee are having words yet again as Pender did not think the play should be stopped. He thought he was going to get to that puck. Face off inside the Clarenville end. And right on to goal. 7.24 remaining as Whiffen covers up. Face off one, Cadigan will fire through from the point. Once again, held on to by the keeper. 7.20 to go here in the third period. Home team trails by two. Delaney will go into the face off circle against Brandon Pye. Delaney won the draw, back to Pender. Pender over to the sideboards, it's played out. Stopped up by the breakers at center and shot in by Cadigan. Whiffen will stop it in behind the net and leave it there for the D. Seven minutes to go for Clarenville. They need two to tie as Reed plays it in. Abbott, fast after it as he usually is. Reed couldn't find it on the board either. Hedges pinching in, he knocked the puck free, but only to another breakers player. Now Nicholas brings it in, looking for the Hattie. Nicholas takes a shot off the defender's stick, up and off the glass. Back comes Abbott. One on three as he flies in. Abbott, nice job to maintain possession. Abbott sends it across, there's open space on the other side. Dyke with a big drive, just high. St. George can't keep it in at the blue line as it's played out by the breakers. Pass missed Kavanaugh, he'll turn and go off on a change as the breakers play it out or as the Caribous play it out, and then Cadigan for the Breakers sends it in. 
Clarenville able to get it out, but don't have possession. Brown turning it right back into offensive ice for Southern Shore. Six minutes remaining now in the third period. The clock becoming a factor. Clarenville gets it over to Delaney, hopped over his stick, he'll fire it in. Earl's gonna give chase along the back wall. Brown moved it away. Picked up by Brennan. Brennan back into the middle, Dalton. Dalton on the rush out for Upshaw. Upshaw throws it to the front of the net, kick saved by Whiffen. Earl just banging it out for Clarenville. And once again, the breakers pick it up. Dalton to center, only too happy to fire it in. Right at goal, off the goaltender's stick. Hedges moving it to the wall, turned back. Pender will get there before Upshaw and prevent a chance for the breakers. And there's a slash that's going to be called as Upshaw's stick came up on Pender. Pender turned around and looked at the referee. And yeah, he had to call it. So Upshaw to the box with 5-11 remaining. High sticking is the call on Upshaw. Clarenville has their first power play of the game, and it couldn't come at a better time. Dyke kept that puck in at the blue line over to Pender. Pender looking for a way through. He'll feed it along the boards. Donahue dropping it off. Back to the line. Pender with a big drive. Hit Dalton skates. And Nicholas will skate as long as he can. Tried to put it deep, but it was blocked by Pender. Earl at center. Moves it forward, blocked by Pai, but it came right back to Earl. Throws it into the middle, but cleared out by the breakers. All the way down to the goal, Whiffen will stop it and play it away as Kennedy was coming in looking shorthanded. Clarenville gets it to Pender. Round to the other side. And now back again to Pender. Up ahead. But Dalton stopping it at the blue line. Clarenville wants to make a line change here as Dalton just softly plays it in. Smart thing. Defense picking it up in behind the goal again. They'll give it to Pender here in the near side. Over to the other side of the ice for Reed. Kevin Reed skating in. Stops up along the boards. Tries to play it back to the blue line. Still with it though, Donahue got it. Now to the wall, now back to the blue line, St. George. Out wide to the half boards. Abbott moves it in. Tight into goal, thrown out in front, nobody home on the other side. And Chaff gonna kill as much time as he can, playing it backwards, and now sent down the ice. Just 20 seconds remaining in the power play for Clarenville as they send out new attackers. Abbott on the left wing. Abbott stopped up by Pye as he tried to come through the middle. Abbott will send it across to the other side. Then it'll come back to St. George. And St. George, the defender, will carry in. Penalty's over, Upshaw back on the ice. Sparks seeds it around for Abbott. Over to the other side. Reed will go pick it up in the corner on the far side for Sparks. Sparks will take a sharp angle shot save made down low. And the puck cleared out and down the ice. This one will be an icing call as we're back to five on five play. And a stoppage with 2.51 to play here in the third period. 4-2 Southern Shore Breakers. A lot of conversation going on with the Zebras. What exactly was that? Then we had an icing call. And one of the officials was just over at the Southern Shore bench. The linesman in there as well. Yeah, 
It is a penalty against Southern Shore. Houlihan goes to the box. So Houlihan has gone to the box for Southern Shore. I did not catch this penalty. And Clarenville will use their timeout as expected. Net is empty. If they have a power play and a face-off in the offensive zone, I don't expect Whiffin to go back in. And Whiffin is standing in the almost in the tunnel. He's not going back in that net right now. So it's going to be six on four. The thing with six on four is anytime Southern Shore touches a puck, they can shoot at the empty net and they don't have to worry about icing. So they do have that going for them, but two extra caribou on the ice. Connor Donahue to take the face off. But it was Nicholas that won it. It was a too many men call against Southern Shore. That was the confusion. That's the penalty. And now six on four with the net empty as Clarenville looks for a goal. They need two. But you've got to start with one. Donahue. Pender. He'll drive just wide. Bounces out in front. Southern Shore will send it off of Donahue and down the ice. Again, they're killing a penalty here, so there's no icing. Pender will go back to pick it up. 2.15 remaining. Got to protect that puck with the net empty. Pass up to the blue line. Donahue's in. They're on side. Waits for his teammates to get in, spot, get in position. Delaney back to Dyke at the blue line. Dyke over to Pender. Pender in deep for Donahue in the corner. Donahue plays it into the middle. Breakers can't clear the puck. It's in the skates of Dyke. Who's going to find this one? It's Southern Shore. Upshaw blocked by Pender. It came out of the zone, but it didn't go in the empty net. Now Upshaw will try the empty net again, and he hits it. Bobby Upshaw scores in the empty net to make it 5-2. And that's going to ice this one. Upshaw, unassisted goal, making it 5-2. to two. There is just 122 to go here. And the fans are streaming for the exits as Southern Shore is going to win the game. Here's Abbott on the wing. Dalton gives him a shove. Abbott continues behind the net. Tries to play it back to St. George at the point, but taken away. And Chaff will just chip it off the glass and out. Hedges, trying to stop it up. He'll collide with Chaff and we'll let the Caribous take control. Abbott dropping it back for the D, St. George, as we go into the final minute. Bench minor is over. Houlihan back on the ice. So we are five on five now for the final 45 seconds of the hockey game. Pye will get himself into the offensive zone. Pye will take a shot, hit the post, and it comes off the backboards, but it is taken away. Brandon Pye nearly made it six. Back out to center. The Breakers just playing it softly in. 24 seconds to go. Whiffin will send it around the boards. Hedges picks it up. Hedges. Head up looking for a pass. Fanned on it. Got to center and got it in though. Cadigan will pick it up deep in his own end. Final six seconds, he's in no hurry to move from behind that net. Cadigan will just wait out the clock, and the game comes to an end here in Clarenville.
The Breakers have a two games to none lead here in the Herder Memorial Championship Final as they pick up a 5-2 win in game number two over Clarenville. The shots finish 29-21 in favor of Southern Shore. Did I hear the announcement right that the shots were 15-1 in favor of Southern Shore in the third period? Wow. Southern Shore had the lead, and they just put their foot down on the gas. Yep. I heard what I heard. Wow. That's how you finish a game if you're the Southern Shore Breakers. Clarenville made it close. They got in there a couple of times. Honestly, bad break on that fourth goal, having it go in off the defenseman. Crazy things happen, and unfortunately that happened to Clarenville tonight, and it really did suck the momentum out. They had the chance at the end, but it was just too little too late, asking for multiple goals with only a couple of moments left in the game, and then the empty netter ends it off. Thanks so much for being with us on AOTV tonight. My name is Matt Little. Nathan Edwards is behind the camera. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast. We're coming back for game number three. That will be Wednesday, back in Mobile at the Ken Williams Southern Shore Arena. And the hometown Breakers will have a two games to none lead, looking to make it three on home ice as we go to game three of this final. See you then back here on AOTV. Good night from Clarenville.